one back away exchange. Why? Sitting position you. because the energy this one I is. Love I don't. Love you love it. Yes. Okay. I'll remind you. Uh, Before the show is done, I'll remind you that you love it. It's okay. I love that song. I love, I love it, but that does not give him the new way to misbehave. Okay, you don't say this one early. Uh, but I, I, I love it. Right. I'm just happy, man. Like, who gets to have two beautiful women on man. set with them, you know? Yeah. This is from Wakanda. It's from um, United States. Where, where are you from again? Please, it's giving polygamy. <laughs> 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 and I can't deal because I'm the one that is going to marry you and another man. <laughs> How does this one happen? Because me too is... It's okay. Because I don't know. I la love. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome back to the world of imagination and creativity. Get ready to be entertained once again on Entertainment Splash, the show that brings you pure entertainment. Yes, yes, yes. From blockbuster films to alternative sounds, we continue to bring you the stories and the music that are creating trends and breaking boundaries all across the world. So, 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 get ready for a splash of fun and cheer as we bring you top-notch entertainment. It's Entertainment Splash, baby. Woo! And trust us to give you <laughs> the very best. You can connect with us via our social media handles. At TVC Connect with the popular hashtag Splash on TVC. TVC. Or visit our website. We are at www.tvcentertainment.tv. Okay. Gigi. Ah, once you arrange hair like this, you don't be. Hey. All right. <laughs> All right. I mean, I'm, I promise I'm not going to be a mess today. Yes. All right. I'll remind you. No, we, we love it when you're a mess. Yeah. <laughs> I hope I'm not a mess already. But it's okay. <laughs> it's your homegirl right here. It's your girlfriend next door. It is a jewel in the crown. It is honey sassy. It is honey money. It is honey flings the baddest in the game. <laughs> like, you can add that to your... <laughs> You will not be a mess. Oh, yourself. Wow. Oh, no, wow. I won't be a mess. <laughs> In two seconds, everything <laughs> don't bust. But yeah, I can call it honey, Valentine presents because if you don't okay. collect your be, Valentine be, presents, yes, because of she the, has been wrapped the, up like, for you. Um, yes, in case, up. you know. Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only that the color is not red. So it might be like just gifting you like um, post Valentine. Or a post Valentine for people that don't collect that. Collect yes. All right. And that one is the finest. Huh? Like you get to have champagne too. Champagne. Wow. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it is your girl Dala, aka the goddess of skills. Some of you know me as the goddess or Dala la 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 la. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you already know what time it is. It's the boy, you know, who's blessed amongst women, you know. Yeah. I changed my name from Big J, but I'll announce the new name with uh, due notice. Let's just keep it uh, civilized. All right. J with okay, because me I can announce it for you. Not to announce no, twenty-eight announce vitamins. It. It's plays more than that. It's yeah. more than that. <laughs> it's more than that. Overload in <laughs> EV. <laughs> Ladies what? and gentlemen, we have a part show as we've got lined up for you today. Stories making rounds in the entertainment world, and of course, celebrity birthday shout out. Want to know what happened in entertainment history today? Well, you can catch that on Rewind also. We will then be finding out who we have got on Where Are They Now? While Jay Paul, who is telling us unveiling his new name, will be bringing us today's news of social media craziness only on Social View. That's right. And still to come on the second half of the show is the Truth Off segment. Then we will be having the news recap while on today's Daily Top 5, we will be talking about TV series we are anticipating this year. 2023 followed by what are you watching we will then wrap it all up as we always do with movies and the movies don't you just love tuesdays i actually really do it's, it's the vibe i love it yeah it's giving <sighs> by the way you look amazing honey thank you you look beautiful too. so what that time we were talking about with usd booting yeah, I just noticed yeah, how she looks like a gift, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. It's still the number one entertainment show on the hour, and we're giving you everything that you need to start your day off. And first off, we're going to kick it 
With the entertainment news and first in entertainment news, Missy Elliott wants female rappers to recognize impact of earlier trailblazers. American rapper Missy Elliott has come out to speak on the contributions that women have made to the rap game, stating that this rapper's contribution helped pave the way for today's female hip-hop stars. She made this known during a recent sit-down with Forbes, saying, and I quote, Women have played a big part in what we call hip-hop in this culture. These women are my friends and we don't just come together when it's time to perform. We speak on the phone and hang around each other. End quote. She continued and I quote, I always think about how these are the same women that I looked up to and still do. They have kicked down the doors for all the women you see today in 2023. End quote. The rapper added, even if the women that are out that are out now may not be familiar with all their records, they have to know that these women are the reason they are able to be on many of these platforms. End quote. Missy Elliott also used the opportunity to give her mentors a shout out. She said, and I quote, A lot of times it's not as easy as it looks and people only get a chance to see the glitz and glamour and don't know what it's like to go through things behind the scenes. So when you have that mentor, it's everything, especially someone who has already been on that walk. It's very important to me, for me, to be a big sister to those coming behind me because I had Queen Latifah, MC Light, and Salt and Pepe be that to me, end quote. In conclusion, she said, it's important for me to support this next generation because I also came in at a young age and there's nothing like having that support in someone. I had, I had people like Mary J. Blige and Didi tell me what to do and how to be a go-getter, a hustler, be consistent and be different. Things you need in this industry. I, I think Honeypot is... Yeah, I think so Honeypot yeah. is... Not even me, I was going to yeah. right, Honeypot. Honeypot. <laughs> I welcome to Honeypot's TED Talk. <laughs> welcome, let's start with welcome to my TED Talk. Thank you. Welcome to my TED Talk. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Um, I totally uh, agree with Missy Elliott. I think that there is nothing like, you know, um, giving flowers or even if you think that is deserve guardians, that you give guardians to the people who came before you. Mm. And uh, the, nothing beats experience, I tell you. Because, yeah, it can be social media age where people like a lot of people or mm -hmm. you get somewhere without really going through the proper process. And then there are people who can, you know, if you respect them, you know, uh, you give them the accolades, they can yeah. be nice enough. If they see something, like they can point it out to you and say mm -hmm. that, oh, you know what? And mm -hmm. if she has mentioned, I particularly like that she mentioned names. Mm -hmm. yeah. so if she just said that, oh, people should give respect to, it would be like, uh, you, mm -hmm. are you acknowledging anybody? Mm -hmm. So she first of all acknowledged people and then she said that. So I, I think it's just cool. I, I think she, 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 she's saying the right thing, especially saying that she got into the game mm -hmm. uh, at a very young age. Mm -hmm. And then she mentioned the people, uh, Mary J. Blige, DT, talking about, you know, MC Light, talking about, you know, mm -hmm. uh, Queen pepper. Latifah, Salt and Pepper. And th this is just so nice. Yeah, I like it. I yeah, like I'm it. actually fully in support of this. Women supporting women. Let's yes, start with right. that. Yeah. Yes, queens. Um, because, I mean, there's always a lot of talk about things like, and I would need to call names. Uh, when people say, oh, my God, uh, Thames, where is Tiwa? I'm like, let's not do that, honestly, because Tiwa came in at a time where there was literally nobody doing what Tiwa was doing in that space. I remember uh, when she came up with Kele Kele video, the visuals and everything, and I was like, who is this person? So now there wouldn't be a... Thames without a tiwa. That's right, that's right. Same way there won't be a burner boy or a whiskey or a video without fella. That's so I think right. always give accolades to who accolades are due. Don't always say, oh, these people, they are gone, they are outdated, they are this and they are that. That's not, because if these people didn't go through all this, we wouldn't be here. It's like slavery and appetite. If our uh, uh, predecessors didn't go through all of that, we'll probably still be in chains. Forget that. We're in something this morning that they say, I could look like slave today. No, who said but, to? Hmm. One person in this studio said, have you watched Will Smith's Emancipation? Wow. So, yes, lucky. <laughs> but then I'm just saying like... I'll leave um, it to his imagination. Yeah. <laughs> nice one, nice one, nice one. Uh, yeah, it's actually a camera guy named Imagination. So, you don't need drop raps, yeah. So, I'm just going to say like, let's always shout out to the people who came before us to do these things. That's even right. Not even just music or movie, even presenters. All the, all the I industries. mean, that's how I look up to people like IK. Like, if IK wasn't killing it, they wouldn't be coming to this space to look for people here as well. So, let's just, I beg. Um... I totally agree with you, uh, but since we're dropping names, I'll drop names too. 
Um, so it's the age of social media where you know, these people came before social media. So they and it understood, was harder. It was harder for them. They understood what it means to, you know, pay respect to whom respect is due. Mm -hmm. But because of social media, you have a situation where lots of fans... Waiting for the names that you Yeah, we dropped the names. <laughs> You know, so because of social media, we're, we're in a space where your fans will come and start to compare you with other people, and then you too, you add fuel to the fire because mm. you like the the band. That's right. Right. Cardi B, right, mm -hmm. should always pay respect to Nicki Minaj. Nicki and Lil Kim. Yeah, because regardless whatever, if Nicki didn't do what she did and Thank broke all those much. barriers, nobody would pay attention to it. Cardi B. Thank Cardi you. B also now has given birth to other new That's sets right. of people. That's right? right? Imagine if those people were disrespecting her the way she has fueled fire between herself and, and Nicki. Because I think that, see, well, regardless, you're going to head to the top. On your yep. way down, you will meet these people again because guess what? They will be pioneers in the industry. They will, be, right. they will be benchmarks of the industry. They will That's be pillars right. of the industry. Even mm -hmm. if they are not in the music game anymore, they would be, you know, entre entrepreneurs. And before we actually industry. round it off, I would like to, you know, mention somebody's name in broadcasting. Like a lot of people might not know him. His name is Nii or Jemakinde. Yes, and yes. And he yes. helps me so much because yes. at, at some point I wanted to be a hair hostess. And then yeah. he said to me. <laughs> no wonder the outfit he wore is giving hostess. So, you know, he said to me, he said, don't you want to be served? You don't want to be on the plane and to be, like, you want to be serving people. I had to think about it. Like, <laughs> no, but it's right. he, and, and then he did something for me. You know how you have uh, somebody like a subordinate. Mm -hmm. So he told me every time we're on the show together. Mm -hmm. He put me on a morning show where there was newspaper review as the green horn that I was and mm -hmm. everything. And then mm -hmm. he would write questions for me. Mm -hmm. And then he would tell me that, see, you're not my subordinate because I'll wait for him and respect him and wait for him to. He'll mm -hmm. say, we are co-presenters. Mm -hmm. And you see... So shout out to me or funny the thing, funny Anybody thing. who knows him, please. Funny tell thing, him he, it I... was also an impact in my own career as well. Oh, you know him? Yeah, he was. Oh, he was my boss at a point at a point in time. So amazing person. Amazing Aww. person. Aww. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Still on the entertainment news, we've got Megan Fox denying cheating rumors. Another episode of Debunking is here again, as reports have it that Machine Gun Kelly emphatically did not cheat on Megan Fox. If you will recall last week, reports were suggesting that both of them were still technically together, but Megan had taken off her engagement ring and wasn't speaking to Machine Gun Kelly following a huge fight. Megan did a lot to fuel the infidelity breakup rumors when she cryptically posted about dishonesty before straight up deleting her Instagram page. Now she's back on Instagram and setting the record straight about all the rumors that Machine Gun Kelly was unfaithful and they had ended their three-year relationship. Megan wrote, and I quote, There has been no third-party interference in this relationship of any kind. That includes, but is not limited to actual humans, DMs, AI bots, or succubus demons. While I do hate to rob you of running random, baseless news stories that would have been much more accurately written by Chad GP, you need to let this story die and leave all of these innocent people alone now, end of quote. The post which was put out has no caption and the comments were also disabled. Megan's post is coming amidst rumors that she and Machine Gun Kelly were working on the relationship but still stressing that she wasn't happy with him. Megan Fox even left a lengthy comment on Sophie's recent album art post after fans speculated that she may have played a part in her alleged split from MGK. She wrote, and I quote, how me making the joke in order to absolve this girl of a hurtful accusation somehow turn into a confirmation of it, I will never understand. Why are people so, so dumb? Sophie, you are insanely talented. Welcome to Hollywood, your first unwarranted PR disaster. You have been baptized by the flames of fame. It only gets worse from here, unfortunately. Just ignore it as much as you can. End of quote. Sophie then replied saying, and I quote again, the internet is so wild, sending so much love at Megan Fox. Machine Gun Kelly, on the other hand, has since not addressed the rumors pertaining to his relationship situation. Ah, when did they get together? <laughs> well, there's, there's no actual time limit for disaster to happen. Oh, no. But I'll say that this was such a Megan Fox pose, say you've been burned by the flames of fame, and yes, demons and succubus. Well, that's oh, Megan no. Fox, I know. 
So, yeah. Um, People were excited. Dala was excited. I was more than excited. I wouldn't even lie. Like, the whole blood drinking and... And they were doing, like, um, the, yes, the covenants, they were... Covenants, keeping... The, yeah. How the ring was into the skin. But and she then had removed it, so... Honey Paul looks so perplexed. Like, what's, why are you stressed? What's stressing you out? You know that... I, oh, wow. <laughs> Remain single, if you're going to remain single. I really do not like people coming together and then, except maybe there is violence. If there or is emotional no, abuse. Because, emotional yes. abuse, do you understand? I mean, because it is still violence, because yep. it is not just loud or it's not physical. Um, hmm, it's loud. Though. <laughs> <laughs> I have to think about it again. But, but then, I, I'm not happy about it. Yeah, I, I mean, we're never happy about anybody breaking up, but then this one that we don't even know what's happening because she's being cryptic still. She's not actually saying this is what he did or we're not together anymore. We just know that she took off the ring and the taking off of the ring is like a big deal because it wasn't like a normal ring. You get, it's all those embedded yes, in your something. Yes. So it must be painful. Like it's something you do to not take off. So what they've taken it off, that's why people feel like the gravity of the situation is actually really big. But they have not said anything. The Sophie that they dragged inside has come out to say she's not involved. I <laughs> I really want the narratives know. to change. You know that thing about, oh, these days nothing lasts and all that. And then it, it gets you scared, even if you're like people like us who are not in the... Oh, she's single pringle. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you know who? And what I hate the most <laughs> is when people who really, really love each other become strangers. Like, it's so scary. No, but, it like, happens now. No, no, okay, no, so, you know, it's so scary. So, to be honest, there's a thin line between love and hate. Yep. Right, and you just take something, one small thing, and then the whole emotions that you felt for love automatically just becomes hate. We've yep. seen many situations like that before. I hate it. We've seen, we talked about um, Tonto DK yesterday, oh. the same situation. So, for me, I feel like, you know, when relationships are brought to the forefront like this, you're... It's, it's in the eyes of everybody for the public to see and mm -hmm. all that. I, I love love, but I feel like when you have something good and you want it to go the distance, cover it. You, you, you yes. keep it. You keep it very safe because yeah. the whole world, the eyes are on it. So, I'm a, for example, fraud yesterday, you know, fraud oh, yeah. just did his marriage way, low yes, key and everything. Yes. I love that. I love that because guess what? It's not about the, uh, the wedding. It's about the marriage. Them, them, yeah. So if you're not going to be with me during my marriage, then I'm sorry, I'm not going to do a loud wedding. Okay, Dala has everybody. something to say. On the Thank you very much for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you said, um, you know, keep it. That's fine. Sometimes the person keeping it is, is the person still spoiling it. You are mm -hmm. fully aware of this. Because now people are trying to say that it was somebody else that had caused their breakup. And then now Megan Fox has said it's not the person, meaning that it's one of you inside the keep it that is the problem. So sometimes I feel like you keep it, you do not keep it, you do not see. As long as, let me not say if it goes spoiled, it goes spoiled. But no, no, no. As so, long as both parties are not keeping yeah, the yeah. energy to make it yes, work. Yes. If you like, hide it inside blue shell like this. Is that corner your inside? You see that small, you see inside there, it's still spoiled like that. So. I agree. I totally agree. I mean, when one party begins to misbehave, there is no how. It takes two to tango. As and, in. <laughs> you know, two people must bring in the work. If they're not putting in the work together, one person That's is one-sided, then there will be a problem. But still keep Amsha. Oh, <laughs> still keep it. I still tell you, I tell you. I, I think, I, I, oh, in fact, it's so sad. I don't even know what to say. Like, I really sorry, do not like sorry, separation sorry. or divorce or okay. anything sorry, like that. I just love love story and let it be sweet till the end. Yeah. Because if we bought Amsha before these people now, I will collect my money. Me, I bought Ashwabi red, Ashwabi with black. So what are you going okay. to do now? Is it so cloth? I go for movie premiere. Voila. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's all on entertainment news. It's time for celebrity birthday shout out. In alphabetical order today, celebrants are the following people. First up on the list is Ashley Green, who is 36 today. The American actress is known for her role as the prophesying vampire Alice Collin in the film adaptation of St Stephanie Meyer's Twilight novels. 
This role, however, hand her 15 Teen Choice Awards. Yeah, I absolutely yeah. love Ashley Green. Um, so uh, she looked really different because, like in the movie, she had like the short haircut and all that. Yeah. And then when you now see out of character, I'm like, you still look like a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> For the record. <laughs> Oh, she killed this. Happy birthday. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. <laughs> we also have Corbin Blue, who is 34 today. He's an American actor and singer who sang and danced his way to fame in Disney's high school musical. His other major films and TV shows he has appeared in include The Little Engine That Could, Scary or Die, NOS 3D, Sugar, The Monkey's Poor, Walk, Ride, Rodeo, amongst others. Corbin Blue. Happy birthday to Happy him birthday. and his angular jaw. Yeah. This is his hair for me. I, I miss that hair. You know, that huge hair. Happy <laughs> birthday to him. Happy birthday. We also have Elliot Page, formerly Ellen Page, is 36 today. The Canadian actor and producer is known for his roles in films such as Juno, Whip It, Inception, the X-Men films, The Last Stand, and The Days of Future Past, and of course, the Netflix series, The Umbrella Academy. Yeah, if you're wondering, if you're wondering why Jay said known for his roles, yes. he's because actually correct because... He changed. He's, yeah. He changed. He, he, changed. he switched. So he switched. So I was wondering if it is not going to, or she's not going to hear this and will not just be happy with the... Like, you have to know what pronouns you use yeah. for... Yeah, happy birthday to you, sir. All right, we're well, moving on. <laughs> Jennifer wow. Love, here with <laughs> is 44 today. She's an American actress, producer, and singer known for her role as Julie James in the horror films I Know What You Did Last Summer. And his 1998 sequel, her other no no notable films include The Tuxedo, Garfield Love Action Films, Ghost Whisperer, Heartbreakers, amongst many others. In music, she has released four studio albums to date. Aww. Jennifer Love Hewitt. Oh, it's birthday a smile for me. Yeah. All right. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. We also have Jordan Peele, who is 44 today. He's an American filmmaker, comedian, and actor. He's best known for his film and television work in the comedy and horror genres. He also voiced Stocks, Captain Underpants, the first epic movie, Big Mouth, and Toy Story 4. He directed, wrote, and produced the acclaimed horror film Us. All right, so I absolutely love Jordan Peele because I'm like, how do you shoot two very different genres, comedy and horror, and you kill both of them? I'll yeah. never know how he does it. Amazing guy. Amazing. Happy, Amazing. Birthday. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. We also have our very own Kenneth Okoli, who is 39 today. He's a Nigerian actor and model known for his roles in movies and TV series like Skinny Girl in Transit, The Royal Hibiscus, Stormy Heart, Bomo Bomo Express, amongst others. He was crowned Mr. Nigeria in 2010. I like to see him on my screen. Happy birthday to him. <laughs> Just the screen? Just the screen? <laughs> um, you wanted me to say I want to Ooh. see him in my... All right. Happy birthday right. to you. Happy birthday. We're only four to see you on our screen. <laughs> we also have Sikira Tusin Dodo, who is a year older today. <laughs> Tayo Odueke, popularly known as Sikira Tusin Dodo, is a Nigerian actress and producer who was featured in numerous Yoruba movies. Yes. Happy birthday to her. Remember Happy growing birthday. up, I was always wondering, was that her real name? Was that her real name? Because oh, I'm no. like, ah, I swear. But then, <laughs> I mean, birthday. happy birthday. Happy birthday. birthday. We also have Sophie Toner, who is 27 today. She's an English actress popular for her role as Sansa Stark on HBO's Game of Thrones. She also appeared in the action comedy Barely Lethal and portrayed a young Jean Grey and Phoenix in the X-Men film series. Sophie Turner, happy birthday to her. I love every role she's played. I mean, from X-Men to Game of Thrones, she has absolutely killed it. And she's so gorgeous. Definitely, definitely. What if I hated Asha? <laughs> yeah, her character annoyed me too. She now, you know, Sam, what's Changed up. Okay. <laughs> yes, uh, happy birthday to every other person celebrating a birthday today. We wish you happiness, joy, 
More money, more blessings, and God's protection. That money is very important. Yes. That money is most important. We wish you fuel. <laughs> we wish you new Naira notes. I'm telling you, cash we that wish... you can spend. See? Yeah. All right, guys. Let us go straight to the Time Machine on Rewind, where we get a quick history lesson on what happened in the world of entertainment on this very day. Watch, 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 watch. watch this. Let's rewind. On this day in 1975, John Lennon releases Rock and Roll album. And in 1990, the Batman theme by Danny Elfman wins Grammy Award for Best Instrumental Composition at a 32nd Annual Grammy Award. And finally, in 2016, at the 63rd British Film and Television Awards, that's the BAFTAs, The Hurt Locker. Best Film, Catherine Bigelow, Best Director. And that's it on Rewind. Watch, 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 watch this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> How is this? Wow. <laughs> Things that actually go on behind the scene. But it's okay. It's fine. We're here for you. We've got you covered 24-7. Oh, 24-7 yes. like we're going to yes, be here. Yes, what, because, yes of course, because you can always watch us on YouTube. All right. It is now time for Rewind. It is time to press that button. Where are they now? Oh, my goodness. Let's find out who has been missing. <laughs> It's where they now. ADK as April. Henry James, ADK as April, popularly known as ADK as April, is a famous Nollywood actor, film director, producer, television personality, politician, entrepreneur, and a philanthropist. He joined the Nigerian movie industry, popularly known as Nollywood, in 1996 and acted in his first movie, Silent Night, a classic movie that brought him to limelight. Eddie Asiek will continue to take on more challenging roles and has so far acted in more than 250 Nollywood movies, which include Gossip Nation, The Wrong Money, Silent Whispers, Be My Val, Last Kiss, Silent Night, Executive Connection, Palm Must Change Hands, The Wolves, Squad 23, End of Money, State of Emergency, Rituals, Oracle, Too Much Money, A Time to Die, Abuja Boys, Dirty Game, amongst others. If there is anything we preach against in this kingdom, it is mother, fornication, and violence. Eddie Kasiegu, in the course of his acting career, has won several awards, which include Best Actor of the Year at the African Magic Viewers' Choice Awards, Best Actor in Nigeria at the City People Entertainment Awards, Best Actor in a Leading Role at the Best of Nollywood Awards, Most Prominent Actor in Nigeria at the Africa Movie Academy Awards, amongst others. Aside from his impact as an actor, Edik served in 2005 as president of the Actors Guild of Nigeria, an umbrella known for regulating and representing film actors in Nigeria and abroad. He's also said to have explored his expertise as a movie director in some best-selling Nigerian movies. Edik Asiegu is very talented, skillful and gifted in acting, as he can interpret his role very well and even make his character look real as if it were in real-life situation. He also loves challenging roles and has featured in several tough roles in movies. Wondering where he is, he is still very much active, although not much of his presence has been felt in the movie scene. He seems to pay more attention to movie making behind the scenes. He's also a member of the board of the Audiovisual Rights Society of Nigeria, AVRS. Okay, let me try one. Will you shut up and stop thinking? I did pay you to... Now you know where they are now. It's how Jebo has turned this into a revival song now. That's now. What it feels just like. rolling at Shilo song, Gabi. Lead me up. Give us gospel version. Kabusa <laughs> Kwaya Shinoga again this. But the thing again is that without even remixing or you know doing anything or even covering, this thing sounds like gospel song. Yes, gong, 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 gong. But Kabusa Kwaya still no touch I'm sharp because for you know you come with the robe, I mean inside forest holding <laughs> grass, I beg. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you know what time it is. Welcome to Socialville, where we're about to dive into the social media space. And of course, it's filled with all the humor and savagery you can think of. You don't even know what I imagined when you said we're about to dive. 
So the thing is not looking like sweet river or sweet pool or something. Is dive, the sorry. thing is looking like, you know, gutter that you have potokoto and everything that <laughs> as they are diving, I don't know whether you're going to be able to, but let's see. Only pot. It's okay. <laughs> as you just said that, well, do you know my, sorry, my, where my mind went, sorry, it was Big Rara Toilet yesterday. Gosh. Sorry, continue. What happened? It was Kosi and um, Yemi were inside the toilets having discussion and kissing. Uh -uh. When they nominate, when they were going to do like head of house games. So, of course, Kananga, uh, that's Kaneva, Blue mm -hmm. Eva and Kananga, they've saved Yemi them before. Yeah. So now Yemi has to save somebody. Meanwhile, Kosi, he just finished kissing Kosi in toilets. Oh he went my. to save Kananga. It was a very Wait, shitty. Who's the new head it was of a house? shitty Yemi Craig's. Yemi is new, new. Yes, Yemi. You sure is Yemi not, Yemi's not winning this show like this. Let's be looking now. Oh. Let's check it out, ladies and <laughs> gentlemen. It's out, <laughs> Justin. I thought Justin would have left a long time. Don't when worry. did he first of all end that? And it's fake. And it's fake eviction. This. Let's, so stressed. I mean, was yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> Talking about Big Brother. <laughs> they say Marvin on his way to another reality show. <laughs> Oh, um, no, I pitied him. I actually pitied him. You pitied him? I actually pitied him. Why? Somehow I just felt like, oh my gosh. So you know why people do this? They do it for a reason. And that you're not even getting to like, even if you're not going to win, like get to a particular spot that you know that, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, no, but he's been on a couple reality I, shows. Yes. I think this might be his American maybe third American Talent. So, so, that is what I'm saying, uh, that he should just yeah. get so somewhere. So he's on his way to the next one now. Maybe wow. his destiny is to be... Mm, he's big so he's like um, Paul, Saul first and... Uh, oh, he's going to Big Brother India Oh, oh, oh I am so sorry. But guess what? Like, sorry. I expected... Like, I expected, before David... Uh, I'm not around, To be honest, I expected so much. I didn't expect Especially to coming off uh, the mm. circle. Yes. Right? Exactly. He's just my fresh point. off the circle. I did not, I did not so, expect anything, anything. Baba just know where. I cannot tell you one color of shirt he wore on that show. So, to be honest, I only That's remember okay, him. Was so, he did not, That's okay. so, he did not have strategy. There was no. To say. What, okay, what, what else was he doing aside? He was fighting place? Kananga. I remember him. For was that. the fight a fight? And when he told. Was it not Marvin who I mean, told he, Jeremy who went to stand beside them when they were trying to settle their score? And then, now I said, bro, excuse us. Now I said. I forgot to have anything inside because just today, you know how you are talking to Dala and you are talking about something confidential <laughs> and this is not moving. Oh well, yeah, that was miracle. Oh, that yeah, was yeah, miracle. Can you that see? So Marvin not do anything. Of, <laughs> I I'd like to see him on maybe Nigerian Idols. Wow. Uh, who else be a millionaire? He can do us be a millionaire. You win money. Is he? Well, let's huh? see. Let's see what happens. <laughs> We're moving on. <laughs> All right, next up, Fishayo on uh, Twitter says, Imagine going to hell with a tattoo that says, The devil is a liar. Or my own fire go different. Yeah. <laughs> Who is a liar yeah. again? The devil. Go the no, your fire will not be different. It's just that where you are, there will be air conditioning that is blowing the heat. <laughs> they will not face the fan to you like this because. I imagine the devil laughing. You get mind. <laughs> you went to do the devil is a and liar. You Means, seeing... Meanwhile, you said you are a devil's child. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot end way. I love ah. it for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up, uh, Bill says, poverty will make you think 200K is a huge amount of money. Uh. Yemi Azan replies, if your bank swallow your 5K now, you will tag, tag CBA 25 times. It's not a lie. Exactly the truth. I am telling you. No money is more money. You get the way uh. 15 naira change, you no go leave them. Ah. My you own, it was 4K that I went to do reverse in bank because what? <laughs> Did they work for my uh, authority? <laughs> Did they work for it? <laughs> you know what 4K to... can buy? I thank you so much. Popsicle. Uh -huh. I went by to few complaints from. By, Are you joking? By the way, I'm going to call uh, this bank's name. Is there any bank? Please stop now. My friend. Wait for rent now. No, no, no. This one. See, my friend lost money again. Over 3 million naira. I'm sorry. Just disappeared. Boom. From the bank. I, what's going on? What's, I'm sure they're going to. I'm sure they're going to do something about it because be a lot of people, day. a lot yeah. of people are complaining. See, with fear, I had to send all my money to an account, and still, it took days before it got to the account. Then it's bank. I changed. stopped it a long time ago Change. when, um, you know, I would go to this particular bank uh, that they pay my salary into, and then you know, somebody I don't know, I went to complain to them. They said maybe somebody had my pin or something uh -uh. that I should check, that I should change my. Th that no. they will block my ATM and then I should get another one. As soon as I got another one, as I got home like this, the person faffed my money again. I, uh -huh. I quickly went to work. I came to work. I said, please, I beg you, to stop paying my I beg. Even I brother beg. Shaggy is not having needs. People because... are working hard for their money. <laughs> what? Okay, Shaggy is here and he says, 
Who can't give my babe new Naira notes now? Una don't start. Yes, Una don't start. To. Updates, but, updates. I'm telling you, that's how guys will be collecting. Because anybody who gives me, I mean, so I'll pay attention to the person. There's no... Honey, but uh, you want to start a podcast? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, I would like a it. A podcast I would, arena. I, I'm telling you, <laughs> and it will do well. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so we move on to Osita Ehema, whose birthday was yesterday, by the way. Yeah. And uh, he's here, he says, every day, stay safe, stay safe. When nobody say I offend person, this country don't tire me. Actually, it's... and there's a telecommunication company. You just see it there on your phone. Stay safe. And I saw it during COVID time. Oh my, I can't defy say what's going on, what's going on. Stay safe, stay safe. Well, now stay safe. Oh, oh but actually stay safe. This period Especially this you see, you see this weekend. Ha. And the week after. So talking about stay this this weekend. Safe. Now, you know, um, on some major blogs, they've been mm -hmm. putting out stuff that you need to get and put in your house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm like... Because of everything, it's now... But the way they put all these things, fuel, it's like war. money... <laughs> What are we preparing for? It's like war. We're preparing for war. So the thing is that they're because? just saying that you should have everything so that they don't want to hear. It's just one weekend of election. Mm. Yeah, but they're saying like after the election, like outside might not be very conducive to be outside. Okay. But me, I don't know what you're talking about, but even during Christmas, you always, uh, don't you buy stuff, don't you? Because this you just election. Because nobody is going out. Like, people are going out to vote, but you're going to be no activities apart from that particular activity. So, will you not want to be comfortable in your own house? By the way, I'm excited about the news that over 1.6 million people in the diaspora uh, actually you know, have got their PVCs. PVCs. Yeah. So, that's great. That's great. And there's an influx of all of them, right? Yes. I've been seeing pictures of them on flights coming back. Yes. I mean, I love, yes. love. I, I love, love Jed Leo. I love it. Everybody is looking. I'm snapping besides his case. I know come. Wow. Wow. <laughs> all right, moving on. Melanin Pie says... Nigerians abroad will come to Nigeria and expect you to leave everything you have to do and hang out with them every day. Guy, you are the one on a vacation, not me. <laughs> Very um, true. But I think that they can be somehow again too, um, especially those ones that maybe they were asking you out before they got to Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And then they get to Nigeria and they're not giving you so much attention. And mm -hmm. then you just feel like because they were bored abroad, mm -hmm. so they were using you to paranure. <laughs> and so they now get so to So wait, to what? Paro <laughs> Parotechnic. Uh. Paro what? Paro they were what? using you. Honey to, pot. They were using you I for... I must hear of this. No, they were, you, <laughs> they were using you for, for their boredom. No, talk so, about that. Paronure. Paronure. Paro yes. <laughs> All right. Like you were the solace. Right. Yes, okay. at that point, right. for them. I mean, make nobody use me. Paru 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 <laughs> so when they get to Nigeria, they will not be behaving anyhow. I, swear, I don't understand what you're saying. I said one finger will not enter there. <laughs> <laughs> we are moving on. Busai or Tebata says, POS charges sat me down last week and told me, you, I will kill you. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is like one of my favorite videos of um, Lassie. Lassie. I said to God because Poverty I sat, sat me down. down. I said, you! On, on the Saturday morning, on it was the fact that there was a day. On the Saturday morning, I said, you! I will kill you! <laughs> so yeah, this is how I'm feeling about POS charges as well. Um, I don't know how true it was, the story that they said that they killed a POS operative that wanted to collect... Uh -huh. Was it 20k charge or 70k or something? But this is serious. Or 40k so I, charge. I took a ride recently, and then the driver we got to the place the, where I was going my destination. And the driver says to me, "Um, I'm a, okay, you go add something on top of, as charges because POS charges they involved." I'm like, ah, I don't understand. I'm paying, so I'm supposed to pay my normal amount. Then I'm supposed to add money for your own POS charges. This country is like, I don't understand. Me, my own yesterday. Hmm. I, I, I took um, a taxi yesterday, mm -hmm. and then the taxi told me that, oh, he stopped using, when I wanted to make a transfer, he said he stopped using a particular bank. That Because when he mentioned that bank, I said, ah, I'm not using Apple. I'm going to use my code. So will I find it? He said, I will not find it. I said, mm -hmm. please, what bank were you using before now? <laughs> so I stopped using because it would take two days for me to receive the money. At the end of the day, because we we're just sitting down there looking at each other, <laughs> said, okay, use the bank. I, I tried like how many times before I could transfer. Oh so goodness. it's a lot of headache. It's crazy. It's crazy out here. All right, next up, Eviwe says, my husband removed me as his wallpaper and put his daughter an hour after meeting her. Yeah, men has come. Even in this situation, I'm sorry, because me, that I have labored 
Labored for nine months. I've carried your child. You don't even see Women to small. do it. Women to do yeah, it. Actually, you start yeah. hearing, actually, or call yeah. me. <laughs> so they will start calling the children, or call me when you actually have an actual all call. So yeah, women. So I, I'm not even going to be here and start defending what is not. But so. still, you get one babe with quarrel with me. You know, say me normally do lover boy. So I said to her, the only other so, girl. So you know, I know I I do it. He so. says I know I do it. I do it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I do me. do it. So I told the babe, I said the only other lady I will ever tell I love you is our daughter. Oh my quarrel starts. <laughs> And you, you were thinking that I we're thought doing it was something. Romantic. This I was doing bands. Meanwhile, they bring machine guns. You know that some people don't even want to have children. So it must be them in this life. I'm telling you. Uh, I'm telling you. Seriously. You don't ask her the proper questions before you went So to how did the end? Hey, uh, breakfast. Hey! <laughs> national <lot>. cake. <laughs> national cake. All right, our mem king is here again. He says, six days to election and I never buy clothes and shoes. So when I saw this... When I saw this, <laughs> it was a Lagos guy that wrote this thing. No, no. No, there is even this guy, this B O, what's that dude? B O D. Mm, that guy, oh that my dude too said so that ah, that ah, that he has not bought. And me, I'm not wondering, wait, ah, check Christmas. You know? Uh, so is the same way. You are the one that sat down here. I you sat that. down on a Tuesday morning and you said people that are buying things for election, it's not they buy things for Christmas. Uh, so, they are, so we bought cloth for no, Christmas. We buy cloth for election. No, no. So it's not as if I'm saying that you should not buy your clothes. Okay. But I, it just took me aback because right. I was not aware. Right, if so I knew, I would have bought you now. I would, right. You know me sorry. now. Uh, 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 sorry, no, right. yes, no, yes, no, yes. sorry, sorry. Let's, let's take the last one. Um, Olaido says, finding a nice dress as a modest babe is tiring. Any small thing, back, side, and stomach are open. Uh, I don't understand, though. This is me. They sell my type of clothes. That's why modest girl cannot see me in the streets. Me na, you understand? Naked weapon, na me. <laughs> so, weapon, me. Yeah, so, 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 it's another thing that me, I'm thinking of. <laughs> because some people, that is how one year, one year, the be a lia So, one year, one year. Only part is on the road. See, I'm still on <laughs> the technique that she so, has talked before. So, it is not about modest. It's because they just eat anyhow. So, as backside is shooting out, Tommy me too, it's shooting out. Small clothes they cannot wear. Everything will just look like it's not their size. So, only for um, Dala, I go like me will go to church on Sunday. So prepare ahead. Your modest outfit. My mo no, <laughs> no. When I want wear modest clothes, you say you go beg me. Hey, Dala, what do you wear to church? Sweeping the ground. What do you wear to church? Dress now. What sort of dress? <laughs> Clutch. Hmm? Armor of God, breastplate of righteousness. <laughs> <laughs> because oh, I just wanted to know. Because Dala, the day that she no, wears, I have, uh, the days that she wear, the days that she said that okay, she wants to wear something that is three quarter and long and covering everywhere. And I said, Dala, you look good. She tells me that. That is why you and my daddy, you are in the same WhatsApp group. It's not my style. The day that I look ridiculous, you say that. Like, I, it's not my style. And people like Dala, they make pastor preach. Preach, ladies and gentlemen, you look like a butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> Time check. The first half of the show is done. But still to come, chew it off. The entertainment news recap. Daily top five. What are you watching? And movies at the movies. So stick oh, around. Right All right, guys. Thank you for staying with us. In case you are just joining, this is the second hour of the show. East Flash, we got. What's that your name again that you will say you want never to? Never announced. You are never announced them. You're not ready. All right. There's a, there's a big to it. All right, big something is big, engine. big something. This sounds wrong. <laughs> big engine, small body. Yeah. Big engine. All right, uh, Jay Paul is in the building. Hanish Money, your present for today is in the building. Of course, your girl Dala, aka the goddess of skills. All right, we are ready to keep you more entertained. And right about now, it is time to chew mm -hmm. it off. Time for one of us to let us know what is bothering him or her. Are those your pronouns? Let me verse. It's him. Him. Him, him. No. Sticking to him. He. Or they. Or we. You know what I like Or you identify as potato. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I like already, so you know my gender. All right. I, I don't like know what you so like. Much, so much. You like what? All right. <laughs> Who's ranting? It's me. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> so I already drag somebody I'll today. I'll change my so. face. Make me squeeze small. <laughs> Please Oche. don't make me laugh. He's giving... The award for best actor goes to sorry. Wait, I'm serious. Oh, yeah, now you cost it. 
You see? <laughs> <laughs> Please, how do you do all this thing you are doing? If this is the rubbish you are doing now, because... Uh, the one I win my award. Oh, you're not good. Don't worry. Okay. So, back to my rant. <clears throat> I know everywhere is hard in this country. There's frustration everywhere. But if you're a service provider, please relax and calm down and provide your service and go back home and continue with your frustration. But when you're coming outside, you can drop your frustration in your house. Today, three different kinds of people have upset me. Like, you know how you leave your house and you're like, you know what? It's a happy, beautiful day. You wake up, you know, and you're mm. going to go about your services. And then I'm going on the road. The first thing was, so I, I used, um, um, there's an app, driving app. You know, I used mm -hmm. the, um, the app and I was booking. The guy went to the destination, not the pickup, ah. right? <laughs> oh, you made a mistake. No, he went to destination. He first asked me, why are you going? And I explained to him, on he went to the destination. I don't know okay. what he was thinking. Ah. So I'm on the phone. I, I said he's outside. I came out, I did not see him. It's like, ah. And then the next thing, he started shouting on me on the phone. Where I now, I, I didn't know when I said to him, you are in this Lagos, I will arrest you. <laughs> no, because, Roger, imagine if you were in Lekki, and then you said you were going to Ketu. And so, it, that and is I because waited any, for a long so time. So, that person like, that you want to call should be in your access. Like, he, so, he that went, means he left Lekki to come to Ketu to come. He went, I mean, he I just went, no, like, where I was going is not far from, oh, you get. I, I, so, because, I was like, I didn't know when I told him, I, I will arrest you. In this Lagos, I will arrest you. <laughs> That's the what's the difference, Big J, that I know. What's the difference? So, <laughs> he brought out that <laughs> side of me. So, I left my house. I booked, you know, I took another one. I came. The next thing, police stopped me on the road. And this morning? Yes, this road, yeah. yeah. What's that road that they, they stopped me? Came, the first look at me, bros, you look familiar. Are you a woman or a man? Ah. I'm like... <laughs> I am so sorry. So, so, like, I am so sorry. As if I knew. I am so sorry. Right before this rant, I asked, what's your, what do you identify as? I am as? so sorry. What? I am so sorry. But you know Wait, who that what? what? And then the person will not make this show. Because you, of that question. Get, do you get? No, guess the person. The person will not make this show today if the person was on this show and they had asked that question. I was so upset because it's I was okay. already... <laughs> OJ would not make this show. We will just oh, go and hello. We will just no, go and call another person. When we finish, I will what? go and settle this thing at the police station. Don't let it in Juicy Kini. Because this Kini will so, not end. Like, it was also, I mean, I was like, why are you asking me that kind of question? I was like, hey, Oga, so who are you? So, funny thing is, I forgot my ID card. So, I was looking for the card. I didn't see. And I said, I know your face. I said, okay. I said, you now check. Oh, big brother, hey, why you not win the show? And I'm like, who's all when these I'm questions going to work. today? I'm yeah. sorry, it's the escalation for me. No, but uh, why would he from say that? Are you, a, you know wait, let me look at you very well. The... Are you a boy or a girl? Yeah, am I a boy or a girl? Can you know what uh, <laughs> And why you know when you show, okay, at the end of the day, ended with, uh, okay, you go give us something. And I say, I don't have anything to give you. I'm going, if I go late for my show, I will hold you people responsible. <laughs> oh, so I remember one to start me in the middle of the night one day and say, you'll be like, man, because when me is in the middle of the night, I don't like, because if you stand up, I'll be, because I don't know who you, if I, oh, the man, oh, on a drone, on the you, you are police. It was so upsetting. You'll be like, man. It was so upsetting at some point. And I said, oh, I come down. I came down. You didn't do anything. I'm so sorry. It was just, oh. So you go give us something. I said, so you. You don't want to let that jacket. Down. No, because I know he came into the to, oh. to the office morning and he was sweating. And I was like, why do you look stressed? I was not even sweating. My face was. I know, but like. So she was asking me. He was just. Stressed. I am so like, sorry. I'm, I'm, I am I'm so just, sorry. It was just so annoying. So you can't even see people go to. Pinball my manager is in London. And she takes train, she goes to, like, she doesn't use, she's not I, driving. I'm so sorry. And it's so easy to move around. I think that it is the way you look, because that time, I had a haircut. I was cutting my hair, and then it was, I just finished from work, and then I was going somewhere in the middle of the <laughs> night, and then this dude saw me around um, Lagada or something, and then stopped me and said, ah, you be like, man. <laughs> I, <laughs> I mean, I don't get normally. Just, so no, so, uh, so I, I was just like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because, I mean, don't waste my time. Say, ah, God bless you. Because I was not having it. You just, it, it is. Sorry, but wait, let me just say this. Let me shift. Sorry about not slap. Stretch your, let me see your pants slap. Okay, hand no go reach. Let me see you. They look at the whole honey pot like this. No, you it's know, everything. they check everywhere. And they say, you be like, what? So where do I stand? Maybe because I was sitting down in the car. Forget that Maybe. you sat down. So me now, in the grand scheme of things, where do me I stand? 
Okay. I they pay now. <laughs> Wait, they check everywhere. Like everywhere. They check everywhere. There's no space. They look around. And they they're say causing... you the guy that deserves a slap. I can't even complain. Then. So yeah, I, I can't think complain. that maybe some, maybe they they take alcohol or something because I don't know. This is a you you'll be like so. <laughs> if if you're trying to form conversation, like let it not be. That's how yesterday somebody looked at me. I was in the car. He says, eh, because of what I was wearing. Person said, ah, you the uh, NYC student. Uh, you be NYC. You be copper. So I'm I like, don't know because why of the color of the of the suit I was that wearing. Don't gel. Is it suit they wearing? Come. That's what I was like. Wait, are they wearing suit? So, say, oh, I'm emotionally so stressed. So some things don't gel, and I think some people just think that they can be playing their dry jokes on you. And oh, I'm here giving you your dry jokes. That is to warn you to with... you, you that they are because <laughs> when you start. Wanna, 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 wanna. Because shabby. you they do that, you know, dry joke, and that is what they tried with you today. Are you a woman? Oh, pass now. He says, we are uh, doing well. Oh. Where is OJ? Did I hear? Where is OJ around this place? Oh, one day, one day, I'll catch him on this show. Anyway, they are lucky who they met on the road, Sha, because of um, uh, I am telling you, they are lucky. What? Sha, because uh, I tell you, the person will not make this show today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, getting right to it. It is time for a quick recap of the entertainment news. Jay Paul, what did you tell us? Yes, we talked about Missy Elliott uh, wanting female rappers to recognize the impact of Elliott Trailblazers. And we yeah. definitely and agree with that one. Yeah. Yes. All right, we also told you that Megan Fox denies cheating rumors, and we're just waiting at this point to see what's causing her removing her ring. Mm -hmm. But till then, we move. <laughs> So we'll be back after this time out for our daily tip five. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back in a good mood now. Who is back? I'm not, he I'm or not she? Again. It's he. He. Yeah, so in case you don't know, my new name is Big P. You know, like JP. Like Big P E E. What are we now going to do to you so that when people it's see not... you, they will not ask you foolish questions whether you are a boy or a girl? Yeah, I just Big P, man. Oh, if police officer, my name is CCP. What the? CCP. <laughs> CCP. <laughs> Then you now do hair like this. <laughs> That's what you should have done to that guy. Avoid actually. me. Avoid me. You're not a policeman to so avoid you. So, we call it. All right, All right CCP, the... what are we doing next on the show? All right, so I'm going to avoid her. Yeah? Ladies and gentlemen, um, 2023 looks like a promising year for TV series like every other year. Luckily, there are so many new and returning shows bringing their A game this year. Whether you are searching for something new or counting down the days until your favorite series returns. There's so much to look forward to across a range of genres, although the boundless options can be overwhelming. So to save you from endlessly scrolling across several streamers, we have selected the best TV series we are anticipating this year, 2023. Welcome to the Daily Top 5. Five, four, three, two, one. Watch me. All right, all right, all right. And number one, we have The Witcher Season 3. This Netflix series is set to premiere its third season at some point this year. Though and have not been revealed, however, it is officially confirmed The Witcher <coughs> Season 3 will mark Henry Cavill's last as Geralt of Rivia as he would not be returning for Season 4. The Witcher Season 3 will see Geralt trying to protect Ciri from those who are coming after her and their relationship will be a primary focus overall. <laughs> season 3 will be worth watching to see how the writers send off Cavill's version of Geralt. Liam Hemsworth will take over the role in Season 4. <sighs> Alright, thank you for that one, um, CCP. Um... No, don't do that again. <laughs> don't do that. Don't CJ. do that. CCJ. Ha! Huh. I will see you after the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. So The Witcher. I'm definitely looking forward to this one. I absolutely love the very first two seasons. It's my type of thing. It's mystic. It's magic. It's monsters. It's all these things that just make like the series my type of thing. So, yeah. Um, I don't know how we're going to deal with seeing Leah Hemsworth because I remember that like, even yeah. in Fast and Furious that uh, they lost one of the characters, Paul Walker, and then yeah. they tried to do something. I could still see that something was off maybe just me but then hopefully i'll mentally be able to adapt to the change in main character but let's well let's um to be honest i'm not very, i'm not a big fan of henry cavill's acting right i feel not like as it's very, superman yeah even as superman he's very stuck up like 
It's almost as if he's he doesn't hard. Know. He's very hard. You know, and it's the same character he brought to The Witcher. Yeah. Um, but man, we got used to it as him being The Witcher. Um, so I think Liam Hemsworth would actually be a more relaxed character, more interesting. So you're more. looking forward to I'm it. I'm looking forward to season four, definitely. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Another one that you should definitely look out for is Manifest Season 4, Part 2. For years, Manifest fans have been trying to solve the mystery of Flight 828, and now they finally get their answers as Manifest is returning for one last batch of its episodes with episodes 11, through 20. According to reports, Manifest was destined to be cancelled by NBC after concluding its third season on the network. Then, after a surprise license to Netflix, the show's popularity exploded over the year 2021, eventually leading to the show's final season renewal exclusively on Netflix. Although the release date for season 4 part 2 has not been announced yet, production has wrapped so we could be seeing it sooner rather than later. Back. So, um, about that one, I, I'm trying to, you know... It doesn't suit you. I swear, deep voice, no V2. If you had deep. that voice, I would not even look at you twice. I swear, deep voice, no You V2. want to look at me twice. What are you talking about? Send me your account. He's giving me... Horrible. He's giving me... An <laughs> horrible. Like somebody that I'll collect your money, and then I'll not still see you. Or... I will not even collect your money because everything will not gel with me. So I, I, yeah. I like the way you collect my money. Collect it more. All right. So while uh, J-Ball is rehearsing for a sugar daddy era. Roll. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so manifest. Um, I saw a bit of it, but it was getting long. I'm like season four, part two. Yeah. And now they still want yeah, to now but, do. Yeah, but I think a lot of people actually really liked it. It's why they now decided to bring it back and on okay. Netflix again. And that's another thing, time and chance. Because if it was on normal, like we're watching it on a normal cable TV, it will probably not be coming back. But I've for the people it. that are excited about I've it. I've seen the, the thing, but I've never clicked on it. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Should we do movie watching? Yeah, we can try. If movie will not watch you, Shab, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up we have Queen Charlotte, a Bridgestin story. No Bridgerton character deserves a spin-off more than Queen Charlotte, the striking monarch who presides over Shonda Rhimes reg Regency reimagining. This is following the title character as she rises to power and no and how a marriage to King George created a shift and a stir in high society. The series consists of eight episodes and will debut on Netflix at some point this year. The series will feature multiple J Bridgerton actors, including Rocheville herself. Andrew Andor, Ruth Gemel, as well as young versions of the characters as they appear in Charlotte's past. So, all right. Um, so, you know, when you listen to Bridgerton, you just feel the need to speak more English and Polish. Wow. <laughs> yes. Right. Well, what are you talking about? Can I have some scrumpets and tea? You're it's not in me. speaking streets. This one, don't carry and go. Don't carry and go and they shake people. Well, you can't people. talk to me oh, like that, in it. Eh? You can't talk to me like that, in it. He's giving what Indian. He's giving Indian. <laughs> Ghanaian. Uh, Ghanaian and Indian. And I'm not adding in it. It's okay. You are fine. Yes. But then uh, Queen Charlotte, um, I think it's a really smart thing to pull out that character from the Bridgerton series. So, I mean, a lot of people liked it. I think we all like to see, like, well, OJ, he's not a fan. I think, I don't know. Don't mind that one. No, no. He has not what? even watched it. So, don't even go by that. <laughs> but what I think is that a lot of people are pulling out. I don't know whether to say a lot of people. But no, I a heard, lot of people are pulling out. I heard out. again that another person is not going to be a part of it. So, I think the wise thing for them to do is just to maybe create another thing so that it doesn't look like, oh, it's when you're coming off. back and mm -hmm. you don't have certain people. It doesn't start to look somehow to people. So I yeah. think this is the only way it can be interesting. Yeah, because I think even the bell that they even picked the last time, uh, that's now Countess, has pulled out as well. So I, mm. so I heard. Yeah. So I heard. So I heard. Well, it's very stressful, Sha. So, and I don't know why those people, because it's something I really, really enjoyed. I don't know, maybe there is something that is going on inside that, you mm -hmm. know, they're not, or yeah. maybe something that they are requesting for that they're not meeting. Uh, but I, I, don't, I don't, wow. Yeah. It's well, that was uh, Queen Charlotte at from Bridgerton, pulled out from Bridgerton at number three. But then for the lovers of the series Bridgerton itself, 
It's at number four, Bridgerton season three. So I'm sure Bridgerton fans would be happy about this particular one, maybe not OJ. If you would recall, season two saw Anthony, Bridgerton, and Kate Sharma get their happy ending while setting up Penelope and Colin as the next couple to get their love story in season three. Well, this time, the period romance sees series will see Jess Brownell stepping into the role of showrunner in Bridgerton season three, taking over from series creator Chris Van Den Ten. Although Netflix has not yet announced a release date for season three, according to reports, fans should expect the series to return at some point in 2023, likely in the second half. Oh, wow. wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Interesting stuff. Because, you know, I like the way you said maybe in the second half yeah. or something. Because, I mean, I am looking forward to Bridgerton 3. Mm -hmm. But then again, I am so worried because of the news that I've been hearing that there won't be certain people in it. Yeah. And yeah, at first, that was how we're worried when this um, um, season two was going to come out. And then we're like, okay, Reggae Jean Page, what's it going to be like? What's it going to look like without him and all that? And it pulled through. Mm -hmm. uh, we really do, we're really, really hoping that this time around with the number of people that they said, you know, would leave or yeah. have left already that will still have something fantastic to watch. Yeah, I mean, the, the mystery of Lady Whistledown is still hanging in the balance, or is it not? Mm -hmm. They said it was the... Penelope. So my thing is, they can twist it for us. They said it was Penelope, but they can twist it for us. I don't trust them. No, but they already, she already came out and she already apologized to her friend. That's why you were not here with somebody that... Hey, me, I don't need to trust anybody inside film. Have you not learned? Just, uh, but, okay. I mean, I, I can't, I can't really okay. read it because you didn't watch, watch it. I don't, Why? I don't, Why? I don't, Why? Is it a gender thing for you? No, I don't know. I just uh, it's all gender spoilers it's for you. Like, I really don't like lots of drama. You know, I just no. Yeah. But it was coming really from a reality TV star, he doesn't like lots of drama. Okay, uh, <laughs> I can hear drama, you. Yeah. I will drag Trisha, you like more gen. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, uh, we have you season four. I'm sure many of us are looking forward to the season four part two of this series because ever since its first season, it's been a big hit. The series which follows bookstore manager Joe Goldberg through his obsessive romances, most of which have ended in murder, will return with season four. Unlike previous seasons, you season four is split into two parts, each consisting of five episodes, and part two will debut on Netflix March 9th. Yet again, Joe flees his former life in North California, Northern California, and crosses the pond to London, where he adopts a new persona as university professor Jonathan Moore, keeping our fingers crossed of who his prey would be this time. I look forward to this one, even though uh, when I watch it, I'm like, dude, <laughs> every time. So, I mean, that is what it will make you to do. So, every time you're wondering. So, as he's going as a professor to another uh, place entirely. He's starting all over. He's starting all over. I, I want to see who his prey would be because it doesn't even look like what he does. It's, it, when he gets obsessed with you, it's not something you pray for. <laughs> so I tweeted this one time, right? I said, I don't know if movie producers are thinking about it, but making a story on Clifford Oji would actually bang. Yeah. So, and I think like it would be. I like, agree. I think it would. I agree. It's, it would be like a banana that you can peel from so many. So people can do their own different. Mm -hmm. You can you can say, oh, maybe in Nigeria we don't pay we don't pay attention to certain things. Mm -hmm. Maybe he had health mm -hmm. problems, mental mm -hmm. health issues, sure these are or something too. like you can you can yeah. take it from any angle. Yes, yeah, I, I, I really totally love how agree. they just picked a whole disorder and made it into series that's actually mad. Yes, and that's I think right. what, what's actually even more disturbing is the fact that. He's not obsessed with one. He's not one person who's obsessed with yes. you. Yes, it starts talking. He will you. obsess. Be obsessed with you like that. He, he has now killed you in the obsession. He will not find another person to be obsessed with because I remember that uh, his wife that ha, no go on. His wife too was now a mad person. Oh, he had a wife. Ha! Ah, the girl that he stalked now finally agreed. They had child. He now started stalking the neighbor. Uh -uh. And his wife is mad. My wife have killed people because of him. See, the thing is... Right! And that's it wow. on our daily to five. Like, Dala wants to stay there. But you know what? My Jesus said no. That it is what you are watching. What are you it's watching? what you are watching. <laughs> what are that you up next? watching? <laughs> that's OJ's language. From where? Shagamu. Make OJ know this, guys. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome <laughs> back. And uh, we are doing What Are You Watching Now? We're taking the movies that you watched 
what you liked about them and how you rate them over 10. I'll be reading your messages as well as picking your call. So it's time. Let's do it. All right. Messages, ladies. Okay. So on Facebook, we have Olu Wajre who says, Afternoon, guys. You're all looking take away. I'm currently Thank watching you. Pearl. Just started, though. Now, you did not rate Pearl. You did not tell us what it's about. I mean, it's the okay. characters... All right, so uh, Godwin Funom Emmanuel says, I'm currently watching a TV series called Reaches. It's a must, uh, oh, it's oh. a must watch movie. Yeah. Uh, I will rate it a 10 over 10. Is it South African? No, no, no. no. Actually, so it's a British movie. It was made by um, an, a Nigerian. Nigerians are in the movie. It's about a Nigerian family okay. in London. And they own a business. It's very nice. You'd love it. So oh. why didn't they tell us? Because me, I thought it was like a South African. It's Nigerian. Production is amazing. Ola Shopo Oyindam. Oyindam Ola here says, Yo, East Splash Gang, good afternoon to you guys. I'm currently watching The Brotherhood. I'll rate it 7 over 10. I'm yet to see that. Um, James James says, good afternoon, exceptional gang. Thank you. I'm currently watching a black American series, All the Queen's Men, even though it's... Um, <laughs> so he's saying that it is um, 18, Plus. you know. Plus rated. Okay, so nice series, it says. I'll give it a solid 8 over 10. Love you guys. Okay, so we have a phone call. Somebody's here. Hello. All right. Hi, how are you doing? I'm this fine, call is all the way you. from Ikorudu. Tammy, Tammy good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> all right, can you tell us the movie or the series that you just saw and that you really enjoyed? The menu. You saw the menu. Okay, before I get excited, <laughs> what did you feel about the movie? At first, it was boring, boring. to be honest. <laughs> but along the line, I started getting my favorite, and you know. What was your favorite part? That part, they said the couple started eating. <laughs> the facial expression. Sorry. How were you rated? <laughs> Actually, at first, I wanted to rate it three. But at the end of the movie, I am rating it eight. Thank wow. you very much, nice. Tammy. I love that you have such good taste. Oh, God. Thank you. Thank you, because, you know, <laughs> if it wasn't recommended and I start watching it, it's something that yeah. me, if I get bored, mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, I don't no, even know oh, what no, to... Because the start of the movie was just them getting to the restaurant and then giving them first course. So you're just like, okay, why am I watching people eat? Even me, I said, why am I watching people eat? But after first course, don't worry. Things will start to pick up. All right, so let's take some messages on Facebook. Still, we have Henry Scott saying, I recently watched Black Panther Wakanda Forever. I rate it a 9 over 10. Um, let me now scroll to your mates that watch the same Black Panther. So you see how it's done, love. Flawless Blaze said, I saw Black Panther Wakanda Forever in the wake of King T'Challa's death. Queen Ramonda, Juri, Mbaku um, Okoye, and the Dora Milaje fight to protect their nation from intervening world powers as the Wakandans strive to embrace their next chapter. The heroes must band together with Nakia and Everett Ross to forge a new path for their beloved kingdom. I'm rating it 8.5 over 10 because it felt like it was missing something. And why did they turn the movie to Women Alliance? Uh. I get the inclusion uh, factor, but it was too one-sided. Still a great movie, by the way. I love Jury's new Black Panther suit. And that's how you review a movie. All right, we have a caller also from Ikorodu on the line. Good afternoon, Debbie. Oh, we lost that one. Oh. Debbie, please try to call us back. Thank you. Yeah. All right, we also have Fumi Moore saying, good afternoon, guys. You all look good. I'm currently watching Ginny and Georgia, and I rate it 10 over 10. What is Ginny and Georgia about? You did not tell us. Right. Should I take my messages yes, from Twitter? And of course, Kali Parker. He says, good day, gang. I'm currently Hi. watching an American horror movie, Hocus Pocus. It's about three witches that was resurrected by a teenage boy called Max Dennison, who moves to Salem with his family to light a cursed candle of black flame. I will rate it 8 over 10 because it's a fantasy comedy. Okay, nice one. Ayola says, good day, gang. Good day, guys. I'm currently watching Stranger Things. It's a much watch, uh, a sci-fi movie. I would rate it 10 over 10. All right. We also have another caller on the line, Love It from Abuja. How are you doing, Love It? Hi. Hi, Love It. How are you today? I'm fine. Good afternoon. Great. So what are you watching right now, and how would you rate it? Oh, oh love it. 
please try and call us back again. Love it. All right. Um, Okpayemi Shadow says, you guys are looking good. Mr. Flames, the green love for you. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, I'm currently watching Itura. It's about King Jagungbade's desire for a kingdom based on equality, love, justice, prosperity, and peace is under threat. How will the kingdom of Iba Okuta survive what's coming? I would rate it 7 over 10. Thank you very much, Okpemi. Yeah, that's about it. Okay, do you have any more, honey? Or are we good? Um, all right, so we have... Have you checked anything from F uh, Flawless? Uh, yes, I said right Flawless, there? please. Okay, so I think that's about what we have right here. Um, all right, yeah. <laughs> all right, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. We hope you enjoyed the show. Please... Make sure you go out there and share love, spread love, not hate. Mm -hmm. And as the election draws by, please keep safe. Practice democracy. Yep. Vote who you want to vote. No violence. Please have a wonderful, wonderful day ahead. On behalf of the beautiful ladies, honey shmoney, da la 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 la. <laughs> we say goodbye. And what's your name again? Big P.